She's gone. Ether furnace reading lost. It seems she has escaped. Lila. Long time ago, Grampy Pon Susu and Dada Pon Tatazo were working on her. Her name was Lila. Grampy Pon and Dada Pon and Tora all wanted to become driver. However, not single one of us have potential. So, we decide to work together and make Artificial Blade. Blade even we can use! But then... You must run, Tora. Take this and go. Someday you finish what we started. After that, Tora hide out in Torigoth City, making Poppy based on blueprints and ether furnace dad upon left for Tora. Don't you have any idea who the attackers were? Tora not know who, but they definitely wanted to steal Lila. If it was Lila they were after, how'd she end up here in the Empire? It looked like there were Imperial soldiers after her. Tora have no idea. But one thing is most confusing. What's that? When bad guys attacked the lab, Lila was not finished. There only one who could finish making Lila, Dada Pon Tatazo. Which means Tora's father must still be alive somewhere. Dada Pon must be held captive by whoever using Lila. You there? Don't move. <gasps> Imperial soldiers. You! So we meet again, driver of the Aegis. Lady Mora, she's the one! That mechanical girl took down our squad! What? Hang on a minute. Where the hell did you get that idea? Unfortunately, they cannot tell difference between Lila and Poppy. So, Rex, was it? Rex? I'm very disappointed to find you stooping to such lowly crimes. Lowly crimes? What the heck? I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guys. I'll Let's show you the Thank you, Contest Me! Don't forget me! Thank you, Contest Me! Be here! There! Don't forget me! Thank you, Contest Me! Don't forget me! Don't forget me! Thank you, Contest Me! Thank you can take me! Don't forget me! Thank you can take me! Thank you can take me! Thank you can take me! Thank you Watch out, Bobby! Anyone who just not survive, I'm not going to be here! Sure! For sure! Rollings! Now I'm here! Let me take it! Watch out! Let's go! 
it over to Pyra. Thanks. The Aegis has changed. What happened to her appearance? Answer me! You want answers? Then put the swords away! What's wrong with you? I'll listen to your confession while you lie defeated! I'll switch to Pyra. Understood. Impossible. He dodged it. Now it's my turn. Lady Morag, look at the Aegis, so you can change at will. Eat this! Pyra? We can do this without hitting them. <laughs> it's like you read my mind. <laughs> Are you holding back on me again, boy? We just don't have any reason to fight you. <sighs> Enough, both of you. I know you. You're from the Argentum Guild's intelligence division. Lady Mora, stand down arms. These not the ones who infiltrate the facility and attack your soldiers.
Then the culprit behind the attack was not the artificial blade standing here now, is that right? They very similar, but not the same. Nira Nira saw her with own eyes. I had a feeling we were being watched since our arrival. I quite sorry for causing concern. Nira Nira has been auditing Argentum Trade Guild. Ah, so you were keeping an eye on us because we came in on a guild ship. How ironic that your suspicion should happen to prove our innocence. It appears I was too hasty in judging you. I should not have attacked you so suddenly. My apologies. No, no, that's fine. Nobody got hurt in the end. I'm just glad it all got cleared up now. An apology from the illustrious Flamebringer. A rare reward in itself. Taurus still not happy! Should get years' supply of tasty sausages as compensation! Master Pon, have some self-respect. Hmm. I will do what I can within my own means to compensate you. By the way, the culprit who fled the scene, might I ask what manner of connection you have with them? You must tell me all. I see. It seems it would be best for all of us if we work together for the moment. Us work with you? Indeed. My goal is to capture the artificial blade and track down the criminals behind its actions. And from what you just told me, those I seek likely have Tora's father held captive. Would you not say our interests align? Uh, I guess so. Well, it's definitely better to have her working with us than against us. We shouldn't take the power of Bridget, jewel of the Empire, too lightly. If she went all out on me, even I wouldn't be able to hold back. And then, we'd burn this place to the ground. I am honored that the Aegis herself thinks so highly of me. You may not remember it, but I faced you a few times before. Let's just say it wasn't easy. Oh, really? But that's a story for another time. What do you say, guys? I can't deny I'd rather avoid making an enemy of them. All right, then. So, from this moment on, I suppose we're allies. For the moment, I will return to the palace. If you learn anything new, please send word. I will instruct the palace guards to allow you audience with me. All right. Are you sure you wish to partner yourself with these people? Just as you were not using your full strength, Neither still were they. Yet you saw the power they demonstrated. How could I not feel intrigued? Drawn by your driver instincts? Something like that. And besides... Hmm? I get the feeling that if I stay near that boy, I might bear witness to something quite extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> 